Hola, my name is Mrs. Love. Good to read. I am glad I've seen that dome, thought Alice. I've so often read in the newspapers at the end of trials, there was an attempt at applause, which was immediately suppressed by the officers of the court, and I never understood what it meant till now. If that is all you know about it, you may stand down, continued the king. I can't go no lower, said the hatter. I am on the floor as it is. Then you must sit down, the king replied. Here the other guinea pig sheared and was suppressed. Can't that finish the guinea pigs? thought Alice. Now we shall get on better. I'd rather finish my tea, said the hatter, with an anxious look at the queen, who was reading the list of singers. You may go, said the king. And the hatter hardly left the court without even waiting to put his shoes on. And just take his head off outside, the queen added to one of the officers. But the hatter was out of sight before the officer could get on to the door. Call the next witness, said the king. The next witness was the duchess's cook. She carried the paper box in her hand, and Alice guessed who it was even before she got into court. By the way, the people near the door began sneezing all at once. Give your evidence, said the king. Shant, said the cook. The king looked anxiously at the white rabbit, who said in a low voice, Your Majesty must cross-examine this witness. Well, if I must, I must. The king said with a melancholy air and after folding his arms and frowning at the cook till his eyes were nearly out of sight, he said to in a deep voice, What are tarts made of? Paper, mostly, said the cook. Trickle, said a sleepy voice behind her. Color that, door, that dormouse, the queen shook out. Behave that dormouse. Turn the dormouse out of court. Suppress him. Pinch him. Off with his whiskers. For some minutes, the whole court was in confusion, getting the dormouse turned out, and by the time they had settled down again, the cook had disappeared. Never mind, said the king, with an air of great relief. Call the next witness. And... He, in an undertone to the queen, really, my dear, you must cross-examine the next witness. It quite makes my forehead ache. Alice watched the white rabbit as he fumbled over the list, feeling very curious to see what the next witness would be like. For they haven't got much evidence yet. She said to herself, imagine her surprise. When the white rabbit read out at the top of his little voice the name Alice. Thank you very much. Uh, muchas gracias. Buenas noches.